I went to Edinburgh, Scotland. And we were staying at the, what is the name of that hotel? It was called the Caledonian Inn. And a beautiful hotel. And right across the street was a huge castle where King James of the King James Bible was born. And the guy told me, we put my, he said, if you look at that window, I said, you ever heard of the King James Bible? I said, yes, sir. I have one. I said, I'm a preacher. Oh, he said, well, that's where he was born. I said, oh. So it's a beautiful place, you know. Beautiful place, man. They got churches like you've never seen. They got cathedrals, you know, huge and tall and nice. Well, I have an office there. I had an office there and everything. They wanted me to all go eat breakfast with them. I said, I said, Kathy, I never get a chance to see anything. Why don't you go down there and talk to the staff at the breakfast? I want to walk around this town a little bit. Give me a little. I just want to see it, you know. Because I like those Scottish plaids. They have some of the most beautiful plaids you've ever seen in your life, you know. Now, I'm not wearing kilts, but I'm just talking about those plaids, you know. <laughs> Looks a little cold in kilts, so I ain't doing it, you know. So anyway, I want, and I see St. John the Baptist Evangelistic Church. Now, I'm going to tell you something. This thing, I mean, oh, the towers are 80 feet high. This thing, beautiful, man. And I love stained glass and architecture. You know, I like, I travel, I, I like to see all the things. And I, saw, I noticed that the door was open. And it said, visitors welcomed. So I thought, well, I'm going in and look. I like going inside churches. So I walk in the church. Now, I'm about ready to receive an offering. This is why I'm telling you this. I walk in the church like this. Well, and I, I go like this. Good God. Take this ceiling, which is high. Double it. Maybe triple it. I mean, it's, it, you know, if you've been in cathedral, this it's amazing. You know how they got those, they built like this, you know, those uh, I don't know, girders or whatever, I don't know what they call it. And all of a sudden I see the, uh, the priest, you know. He goes, hello. I said, hello, sir. I said, this is such a beautiful church. He said, yeah, it's 800 years old. He said, we're going to have to renovate it. Uh, he said, that beautiful stained glass, they don't know how to make it no more. You know, they lost their art. They can make stained glass, but not like that, you know. He said, would you like to walk around? Walk around? I said, if I could? Yeah, he said, even go up on, a, on, on, on the altar if you like. Oh, thank you. So, man, I left him, see. And, man, I'm walking around that church like this. I'm just enjoying the architecture. And I'm thinking, man, God, somebody had to be anointed to do this. You know, this is when they didn't have power tools. You're talking, man, this works, huh? This, this is fine work. You know, I don't know how to ever put them scaffolds up that high. I don't know what I'd fall in. I, I don't know. If you want to see something, the Sistine Chapel in the back, go see how they did that. And Michelangelo did not want the chap, the, the, uh, the scaffolds to touch the ceiling because he didn't want holes that he'd have to plaster. And he did it. These people were brilliant. So I'm walking around. So I walk all the way, and I'm looking at the um, altar, and I think, my God, marble and just, just gorgeous. So I walk around the back. I'm going down this side of the thing. As I walk like that, I come in. There's a box. Oh, about half the size of this pew, where my brother's hand is, from here to the end of the pew. And it said, poor box. Poor box. And I looked at that. Poor box. I thought, I wonder how long it's been here. So all of a sudden, here comes the priest. He said, did you enjoy your tour? I said, sir, I just totally enjoyed my tour. I said, this place is beautiful. He said, I've been here 30 years, uh, 33 years. He was up in age. And I said, well, sir, you sure, my God, to be able to speak and minister in a building like this? I said, it's amazing. I can hear the voices of the past in it. I said, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. I said, what is that? He said, that's the poor box. I said, the poor box? He said, yes. That's what people give money and put in there for the poor. I said, can I, how long you been here? He said, 33 years. I said, have you ever seen this box full of money? He said, no, sir. I said, do you know why? He said, no. I said, it's a poor box. 
I said, I'm not a poor man. I said, you got a rich box? He went, what? I said, you got a rich box? Because I want to bless this place. You want to what? But not, and I, 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 I pull out, he goes, oh my God, oh my God. I said, no, he's my God too. I said, I'll tell you what I would do if I was you. I'd get rid of that. Because it's not been full in, what, 800 years? It isn't going, because it's a full box. I said, stop believing God, sir. He, he says, you got to come here and preach to us. I wanted to say when. <laughs> Today? I'm ready. Well, you know, I went back the other day. I was in Edinburgh, Scotland, preaching. No poor box. It's gone. There's a box now that says donations to be a blessing. Oh. Ah, yeah. And <laughs> he, now he's gone now. And I said, hey, how y'all doing on y'all donation? Oh, man, you know, something happened. There was a man <laughs> who had white hair and came and told our priest. He's now passed. And he never forgot it. I said, I wonder who that was. He said, I don't know, but I sure like to hear what he got to say. I said, well, here I am. Are you the man? I said, I'd be the man. <laughs> say something. So I said, something. <laughs> That's what he said to me to say. You know? No, 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 no. I said, you don't want to struggle anymore financially? I said, is your church built upon Christ? Yes, sir. Do you think he's struggling in heaven? No, sir. I said, well, his will be done where? He says, on earth. As it is where, sir? As it is in heaven. I said, well, take the word struggle out your mind from now on. Never struggle anymore. Command and demand the blessing of God. That's the tongue of the learned. Don't ask. Command and demand. Because when God created this place, this wonderful planet, there were no sinners. It was created for his children. Are you a child of God? Yes. If you're a child of God, lift your hand up. Wow. Do you know how much you, you can put your hand, you know how much you have? Yeah. But what has stopped you is the poor box.